it's definitely degrading. Adam Cohoon lives with spastic cerebral palsy. He's been a Wheeltrans customer for close to 25 years. Right now, he's in the process of re-registering for the service. It's sort of almost like we're filling out a job application. We're trying to, in this weird, sick way, our worst foot forward. Cahoon received this notice when he logged into his account, advising that all customers who qualified for Wheeltrans prior to 2017 must re-register under the current Wheeltrans eligibility process, a process that also includes getting a doctor's opinion. I'm waiting to see whether I'm going to have to go for an in-person interview or whether they are just going to try and make me um, use the conventional system or make me a conditional user. When asked why the push to re-register, Wheeltrans head Cameron Penman told Global News it all boiled down to provincial legislation. AOTA, which is the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act, uh, it mandated that all paratransit uh, organizations in Ontario must categorize all their customers into three eligibility categories. Conditional, unconditional, and temporary. The re-registration process begins with an online application to be filled out by the transit user and their doctor. Those answers are then assessed by a team, which then selects a service category. We are trying to be as fair as we can. We, we have to apply the legislation. You know, we are, we are mandated to do so. so you know, Wheeltrans is trying to find the fairest way to do that. Disability advocate David Lepofsky calls the transit agency's justification of the move a misuse of the legislation. It is not equity to make a person who's had a disability all their life and who has already proven that they have a disability go and reprove to a bunch of transportation bureaucrats that their lifelong disability didn't magically vanish. Now, Cameron Penman, who you heard from earlier on in the story, tells me that if a customer believes they were incorrectly assessed, there is an appeals process in place. So that involves bringing in an occupational therapist who offers their input. If the customer still disagrees with that assessment, they can go before an appeal panel. He says so far around 8,000 people have gone through the process. There are another 11,000 legacy or long-term customers who have yet to. Alan? Thank you, Shalima.